this is the world beneath the sea. Beautiful, mysterious, and for the most part unexplored by man. These are the waters of the Gulf of Mexico off the west coast of Florida. This is a sponge fisherman, a special breed of man dedicated to the most dangerous of all occupations. Socrates, where are you going? I wear this suit. I go down. No, you're not. We're going home. We can't go home with an empty boat, Pop. I can hear them laugh when we bring this garbage in the auction market. You know what we need? Uh. We need a diver who's got eyes like an eel, a nose like a shark that so can smell sponges a mile away, a diver who will go down and he won't come up until a boat's loaded with $100 strings. And you got him. He's right here on board. Oh, hmm. Where? Hmm. Who? Me, who else? <laughs> <laughs> Safote. Safote with a big smile on his face and the itching hand. Hey, Pop, look at Sinan's boat, the Helios. Papa, I 
Did the boys bother her very much when I was away? <laughs> what are you doing here, woman? Why aren't you home in your kitchen, cooking? Who should I cook for? Empty house? Listen how she talks. For a long time, you know, see each other. Give kiss, eh? <clears throat> Say big hello. <laughs> he lends you money. Now he wants to run your life. <laughs> hey, Tony, bring me one of those sponges. When we're alone, I'll, uh, I'll say big hello, huh, hey, Mama? Hmm? Hey, what you try to do here, huh? Oh, let him have it. We got plenty. Thanks. Hey, Pop, look. Wool sponges. A whole load. Right. Best wool I ever see. Hundred dollar strings. They come out of deep water. Hey, Mike, they're reading out the bits. Come on. Go ahead. I go back to my kitchen and cook. Go! She's trying to get rid of you. How do you like that? <laughs> the beach and the cargo sponge from the boat Helios. Ajax Sponge Company, 17,500. <laughs> okay, I'm okay, my sweet brother. <laughs> Where do you get that sponge? Where did you get it? That's what we want to know. You seen what I brought? You like, huh? Ah, ah, sweet sponge. <laughs> okay, okay, sport. How about letting us in on the big secret? We'd like to dance too. Hey, Sinan. Where did you get it? We went to the Twelve Mile Reef. Nobody's been out the Twelve Mile Reef. Not since it killed my brother, Pete. That's where we went, right out to Pete's Marco, where he's still in the water. We went way down, over 20 fathoms down. Talk, talk, big talk. Pete's pants fit loose on you. You lose your feet in his shoes. And you too scared to go down. I went down, all right. If you went down, you saw the reef. What does it look like? Oh, Bobo. Oh, oh. You're looking at a ghost. I died down there. The coral is beautiful. But sharp, like a raisin, cuts your suit to ribbons. There are caves everywhere. Your airline gets tangled up until you think you, you're never going to get out of there. Cliffs, they drop. I don't know how deep. There's an undersea tide that runs just like a river, keeps pushing you off. I wouldn't go down there again for all the sponges in the world. You spend your money. You go broke. You go down again. Now, ready to announce the winning bid. Mr. Carson of the New York Sponge Company. Bids 22,500. <laughs> Everybody, patriotics, come on. I buy the drink. <laughs> What's on your mind? You want to sell your sponges? Sure. I'll give you six hundred dollars for them. Six hundred dollars? Are you kidding? Sold. Hey, you are. What are you doing, Pop? After all the work we did bringing them in, you're giving them away. Tony, the man wants to buy, we sell. We're lucky to get stuff like this off our hands. Okay, Pop. Hey, 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 you borrow money, you pay. Huh? Little for you, little for me. My hands still itch. Then scratch it. That's all you get. Come on, Tony. Nickel, nickel, nickel. If you don't be careful, I'm going to get your boat. You'll never get my boat, Scapote. You old skin flint. Hey, Tony, please, you don't call me bad name, eh? He's right. You are a skin flint. Always you pinch, 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 pinch. Don't get the idea you're going to get our boat. It belongs in the family. If you don't pay, it's going to belong in my family. Tony. Tony and Mike. Where? Death. 
How you feel, Tony? Fine, Pop. See him to Krati? No. Mike, what's the matter with you, Mike? 
You forget the hook boats. Who's scared of hook boats? Me. Socrates of Hules. I'm scared. We don't belong in the glades. Who said so? Tony, you don't understand. Long time ago, before you born, you papa, me, plenty other Greeks, we come to Tarpon, the Englishmen go to Key West, and they work the glades. The cockhead. In old days, is a plenty sponge. Any place you go, enough for everybody, we don't have no trouble. But now, all the beds are picked. There's no sponge left except in deep water, like 12 Mile Reef or, or Glades. But the conks, Englishmen, whatever you call them, he say, no. We are going to pick the Glades. But Mike, if, if they catch us. They're not going to catch us. Why do you worry so much? There are 10,000 little keys in the Glades. We start before the sun comes up. By noon, we have finished a day's work, and then we hide like a little mouse in his hole. To which we come home. If we're lucky. If we're lucky, Tony got the cross, didn't he? Yeah. The bishop blessed the boat, didn't he? How much more luck do we need? I'm gonna work bottom, Pop. Don't forget, you promised. I'm gonna find the most beautiful sponges you ever saw. All wool, $200 straight. And you're going to pay me, and my hand's going to stop itch. Uh, the first thing we're going to do when we get home is kiss you off. How do you like that, you old skin twig? Oh, come The engine is too much noise. When you come up, it's my turn to go down. Shallow water's the safest place to break in. No place safe, Tony. I remember up north, 33 feet, I go down, stay too long, I get a bend. If they don't pack me in ice to freeze my blood, I be dead right now. You can't scare me, I'm going down. We'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? You promised. Listen, Tony. We gotta get out of here fast. We got no time to fool around. Who's gonna fool around? I'm gonna work bottom, same as you. You promised me, Pop. I know, I know. I keep my promise. You can go down when we work up north. You can't do that to me, Pop. You gave me a word. You said that if I... Shh. Every sound like a bullet. Hey, Mike, Mike, look over there. Oh, Mike, I know like. What you know like? Friend. He don't fly just because he likes to fly. Something scare him. Ah, uh, he just finished feeding. He's going home. Come on, Rigby. I go down. Okay, all right. All right. Start, no start engine for compressor. Use hand. Okay.
Johnny, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't try any tricks or I'll chop her in two. Do like he say. That's right. Just do what I tell you and everything will be fine. We want your sponges. All of them. Why, you... Not Donny. Put down the gun, put it down. ought to know better to come into our waters. Where do you get that stuff, your waters? You cocks don't own the glades. There's no law that says we can't work here. Tradition makes its own laws. Keep out of the glades, the next time we burn you down to the water line. You and Arnold bring the Gwyneth in. Let's go. Anytime you fix the glades, you get the same thing. Thomas got that load. and some furniture. Table, chairs, stove, bed. Then you know what? What? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're going to move in. We're going to move in. We're going to get married. You and me? Uh-huh. Oh, thrilling. But wait a minute. Maybe I've forgotten I can't remember. Have you asked me yet? I'm asking now. Why don't you take my hand and say it? Gwyneth, will you marry me? Gwyneth, will you marry me? Suppose I say no. You won't. Tell me, Arnold. Do you love me? You know I do. Yes, I know you do, and I love you, too. Like I love one of my brothers. <laughs> I'm not your brother. You don't have to tell me. Women, <laughs> stop fooling. Will you marry me or won't you? Arnold, if I said yes, I'd feel no. And if I said no, I'd feel yes. I, I don't know what to say. But maybe if I get acquainted with lots and lots of boys and help me make up my mind. Yeah, and what do I do while you're being helped? You can get acquainted with lots and lots of girls. I don't want lots of girls. I just want you. Me? Marriage would be nice. A husband. A baby. But I think I'm too young. Don't you think so, Arnold? <laughs> no. I don't want to get married. Not just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess a girl has to be hard to get. Makes it all the nicer when you get her. Hey, Arnold, better lend a hand before you spend that share. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
Eyes open, ears listen, if what, we come back. Hey, Pop, why don't we tell the Coast Guard this wiped our sponges? It won't do any good. We can't prove anything. We gotta take care of this ourselves. This is the boat. The sponges are here somewhere. They hide them someplace. Hey, Mike, what are you going to do? Open every door, look in every place? The sponges, they lost, they gone. Hey, where are you going now? I'm going to find that fellow. I'm going to see how brave he is without the axe. You go back to the boat. Go on. OK. Well, maybe you're going to need somebody to carry you. You like to collect hawks. We'd like to collect some, too. Okay, we go together. All right. Ah, uh, such a big place, so many streets. How you gonna find? What would we do if we got home with all those sponges? Uh, what we do, we celebrate. They're just what they're doing. Celebrating. We try right here first. Come to measure you for your coffins. Operator, I may have the police quick. <laughs> What's the matter? You never seen Greeks before? Sure. Look how scared they are. A room full of conks, scared of three Greeks. Two Greeks. I'm not counting him. Well, what about it? Can a man get a drink around here? Why not? Jamison, whiskey for the Greeks. Yes, Mr. Reeks. You sure we don't spoil the party, huh? Sit down. Hi, Sonny. Well, we might as well get acquainted. This is my pop, Mike Petrakis. Petrakis, Hullis, Greek. And I'm Tony. I'm Thomas Reese. These are my two sons. It's David, that's Griff. This is Arnold Dix. Oh, the man with the ax. I'm his daughter, Gwyneth Reese. Gwyneth, hey, that's a pretty name. Young Greek, looks at a pretty girl, it gets hot blood. <laughs> What's on your mind, Greek? What's on my mind? Sponges. What do you think? Ah, how you fooled us. We work and we work, and you take everything away. But no hard feelings, huh? This time you win, next time we win. What's the difference? Huh? Do you mind if I dance with your daughter, Mr. Reese? Don't ask me, ask him. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me. You might have better luck if you ask me. Dance? Sure. Why not? That guy acts like he owns you. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. What kind of an answer do you call that? Why don't you find out? Maybe I will. You better be careful. He might eat you up alive. He won't even bother to take off your hat. I got a pretty good appetite myself. Yeah? You let him take away your sponges. I'm dancing with this girl. Tony. The record's still playing. We're making our own music.
Two is a company, three is a crowd. I'm gonna be the biggest crowd that kid ever saw. Do what people tell you to? Sure, ask me to kiss you, see what happens. Crazy Greek. Hey, you want to know what my real name is? Adonis. My mama named me after a Greek god. I'm a very beautiful young man. Why, the whole bunch of you must be crazy coming here. You know how conks feel about Greeks. You want me to tell you how uh, Greeks feel about conks? You're always poaching in the glades. Why don't you stay over the line where you belong? Where do you get that line stuff? The glades belong to everybody. You got a lot of nerve. I know one Greek that's got a lot of nerve. Oh, I don't want to fight. All I want to do is hold hands. Hey, you're pretty. Anybody ever tell you were pretty? Oh, you don't need that. Come on, ask me to kiss you. I'll be glad to oblige. Do I have to ask? No. <laughs> hey, I want to know, what's with you and that guy? He just wants to marry me, that's all. Him? He's too old for a kid like you. He must be at least 27. He's going to buy a house with his share of your sponges. We're going to move in, have lots of kids. Hey, do you like blue eyes? Yes, I do. Marry me and all your kids will have blue eyes. I'll guarantee it. Personally. <laughs> You're real crazy. <laughs> Cut it out, Greek. It's all right. We've been properly introduced. You're sure you don't want to be kissed? You don't know what you're missing? Let me know if you change your mind. You smell prettier than any flower. <laughs> You're absolutely crazy. Greek? Yeah? Tony, don't hit him. He's mine. He's all mine. Okay. Now I'll see how big a man you are without the axe. How you want to fight? Conk style? Greek style. Hey, stop him. You don't know, Otto. He'll hurt your father. You don't know my pop. What do you think of your fellow now, huh? Not a very good fighter without the axe, huh? Hey, Tony, you kiss the girl goodbye. We go. Hey, Tony, that's enough goodbye. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, honey. Tonight's my dreams, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh Greek. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
gone so long. So long. Oh. I gave that fellow a taste of my fist. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we go home. We're not going home. We're going out to the 12 mile reef. Mike. Mike, what you say? I'm sick of going home with an empty boat. When we go home, we're going to have sponges, a full load, more than Sinan. We're going to have money. We're going to pay support it. A man has to do his work. He can't be scared all the time. Come on! Pull him up! Marker. What are you thinking, Mike? I think about Tony. I promise he would work bottom. I... Like waterfront. You hear it? That's what I mean. That's the reef breathing. I tell you the truth, Tony. It's beautiful down there. Way down at the reef. There's lots of fish. All kinds of fish. All the life is in the reef. Prettiest thing you've ever seen. There's grass down there. Grass like in the forest. And when the tide runs, it makes that grass move like the wind. Oh, it's beautiful. There are caves down there full of sponges. You have never seen so many sponges. You go in, you pick, you pick all you want. Millions of sponges. First time you go down in deep water, you get scared. Oh, you don't know how scared you can be. After a while, you forget. But the reef, the reef never forgets. It waits. It waits all the time. Then one day when you are not looking, Grabs you. Tony, I've been thinking about a lot of things. I'm going to work tomorrow. You can. Pop, you promised me. You gave me your word. I know. And I know how you feel. And you will die when the right time comes. But you see, I promised your mama, too. I promised that I would take care of you. That's why you're going to stay here this time. You understand, boy.
stop signal. That coming up. Stop the compressor! Stop the compressor, Tony! He cannot work the valve with his lock. Give him no more air! Key West. Hey, radio the port captain. Tell him the sponge boat. Uh... 
How do you say her name? Eggly. Sponge boat Eggly out of Tarpon's putting in with an injured man. Dr. Ben's bad. They tell him to have an ambulance waiting at the fish dock. All right, plenty enough ice. You go to Key West to the fish dock. They'll have an ambulance waiting for you. All right. You hear, Mike? We're going to hurry, Mike. Please, how much we owe? We like to pay. Oh, let it go. Uh, thank you. Tony, start the engine quick. It's going to be all right, Mike. It's going to be all right. It's all right, Mike. Good luck. Great boat just came in. Must have had an accident. The man on board looked like he was hurt pretty bad. Was it the boy? Couldn't tell. Whoever it was, they had him packed in ice. Saw the ambulance come down, the big crowd. The Coast Guard was there, too. She slip off the reef, line play out all the line, all the holes. Look like valve stick. He come up fast, fast, suit fill up. Who's that? How he is stuck? He's dead. to file a report with the Coast Guard. We want to know how this happened. Bring along a couple of members of your crew. All right, we'll go with you. George Clyde, come with me. You watch the boat.
Couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been so. It had to be Pop. Hey, Arnold! That Greek boat's back. Look what she's got. Fishing the glades again, huh? They'll never learn. All right, we'll teach them. this fire started? Out. Paul, did you see who did it? I work. I come. Out. Tell the man who burned the boat. Two, three, four. Didn't you see who it was? Oh. He's old man. Tony, what we're going to do now, huh? Lieutenant, can you help tow our boat home to Tarpa? Sure, son. That's what we're here for. We'll give you a tow. Take Pop home, Uncle So. Hey, Tony. Tony, where are you going? We're not going to get away with it. All alone, what you can do, Tony. You come with us. I think Pop would take it or Pete. I'm going to find out who did it. I'm going to get our sponges back. I tell you, no, you're coming with us, Tony, because you mum and... be walking around like this, these people will kill you. You shouldn't have stayed here. You should have gone home. I'd like to talk to your father. I've got a feeling he's a reasonable man. Look, he's my father, but he's a con too. I'm afraid he's he just... He's a big shot. Everybody around here looks up to him. He can make him get back our sponges. Where do you live? Over on Fran Japan, he's weak. Here, I'll take you. Dad, tell me... Terrible thing about your father. You like something to eat? Oh, no, thank you, sir. I didn't come here to eat. Mr. Reese, I came here because I think you're a fair man. I used to think that Greeks and Conks, there wasn't much difference between us. The house we live in is, is like this house. The work we do is the same as the work you do. When one of us dies, you understand because it's the same as if one of you dies. But now I'm beginning to wonder. What do you mean? Somebody stole the sponges that his father brought up from the Twelve Mile Reef. They burned his boat. 
Who did? He doesn't know. He wants you to help him. What kind of people live here, anyway? Don't they have any respect for the dead? Who's dead? Didn't you see? Where were you? We were out in the harbor. His father was killed bringing up those sponges. It was like robbing a dead man. We didn't know. We saw the boat, but we didn't know. You stole the sponges! We didn't know! You'll give them back! We haven't got them to give back. When Longarm and the others saw us raiding the boat, they all came. All we got was one string. When Arnold saw the boat, he, he thought that... He thought... What did you think, Arnold? What? Where are you going? I'm going to find Longarm. Longarm's the kind that keeps what he gets. You'll just make more trouble for yourself. If you want to help him, you'll give him the money you got from the Glades. What for? If we had the sponges, we'd give them back. If it wasn't for you... We will have an accounting. Only David. Yes, Father. Grip. Grip! Yes, Father. Carl. Well? He wants to keep what he's got. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're three against one. Tomorrow morning, I'll put the money in your hand. Thanks, Mr. Reese. You don't owe us any thanks. The money's due you. I'll see you in the morning, sir. If you haven't any place to stay, why don't you sleep here tonight? I'll be okay. I'll see you in the morning. Night. I'm glad you came back. It's not the money that's important. It's what you do to yourself and to Gwyneth. Where is she? She's in the house. Arnold, you've got to remember that you're a man and that Greek is only a boy. A woman has a soft spot in her heart for a boy. It's pity that Gwyneth feels for him, but your jealousy makes something else out of that pity. Now, when the Greek comes tomorrow morning, we'll give him an accounting. You can hand him the money yourself. Gwyneth will like that. Won't be here tomorrow morning. We had a little talk. I convinced him he ought to go home.
do to you? What did he do? He burned our boat. The boat's burned. Win it! I told you'd get in trouble trying to help me. I don't care. They burned your boat. Well, now you've got a boat. Well, I don't know how to work a hook boat. Oh, it's not hard. You can learn. No, that's no good. You gotta go deep for good sponges. You mean with a diving suit and an air pump? Hey. Sure. We can haywire the equipment and the deck. It'll crowd her a bit, but it'll work. All we need is one load off the reef and we can fix up the egg. Twelve mile reef? Sure, where else? The glades? The reefs are only chance. Have you ever been down before? Sure. Pop taught me how to wear the suit in the bay near Carpet. Oh, Tony, I'm scared. The reef's too dangerous. I'm scared, too. You don't know how scared you can be, but you forget. Gwen, if you can't ever imagine how beautiful it is down there. There's all kinds of fish, and when they get used to you, they come right up to your face window and look here. You can feed them just like they were pets. They, they even nibble right at your fingers. And then there's the reef. Bright coral, like a garden full of flowers. The deeper you go, the more beautiful it is. The light gets dim, like in a church almost. You get so you don't want to come up. Hey, I almost forgot we're hungry. Okay, come on.
Scare a person half to death. <laughs> oh, that was nothing, just a little stingray. Hey, how long since you used this sail? Hardly ever. Got any fishing line? We'll patch it. If you raise it, Arnold couldn't help seeing it. Not tonight, he won't see us. <clears throat> we'll wait until dark. Well, there's some line in that chest. Eat this, you'll find out why they call us cones. Hey, that's really good. Your mama sure showed you. Oh, she didn't show me. I never knew my mother. She died when I was born. Oh, you were thinking something. What were you thinking? About your father? Your brothers? That when you helped me, you turned against them? Is that what you were thinking? I'm sorry. I've acted like a baby. Well, that's all you are. You're just a kid. Oh, look who's talking. You know, all I have to do is yell, and he'll find you and take you home. You're going home with me. What about your folks, your mother? Maybe she won't want me. They'll want you, because I want you. I can always get off and Arnold will pick me up. Don't you want to go home with me? Oh, Tony. Mama was awfully worried about you. We all were. Gwyneth, this is my sister, Penny. Hello. Hello. It's about time you come back. Where have you been? We're afraid something happened to you. I got beat up. She brought me home. You know my Uncle Soak. Where's Mama? She go to cemetery. Every day she goes to the Honey, I've got to go to her. Take care of her, Penny.
to go on just like he did when Pete died. Like we've got to. Come on, Mama. Let's go. Tony Skunk Girl from Key West. You want to hear her name, Mama? Her name is Gwyneth. It's a pretty name. Hi, Tony. Go ahead, tell you, Mama, what you're going to do. No way. I'll tell you. He's get hook boat. He's going to work sponge like the conk. He already boy. We'll bring in one load and we'll fix up the egg leak. Hear that? Listen how he talk to you, little boy. How are you going to do this, Tony? All by yourself? If Pete was here, if Papa was here, you so could... So I'm here. So what's the matter with me? Oh, don't be angry, Tony. You love my Tony? Yes, I do. I like you. You good girl for my Tony. If you love him, you don't let him do this. Every time he goes out, you're going to die. Every night you wait all by yourself like I wait. You're going to be scared like me. You see my face? You see my hair from being scared? He'll listen to you. You tell him no. Sure you're scared. I'm scared too, but you can't be scared all your life. We've got a boat and we're going to work. That's what you want, isn't it, Mama? Or do you want me to sit around the house hanging my head? He has to do what he wants to do. Can't you understand? I can't tell him what to do. Nobody can. You might as well make up your mind, Mama. When we go? <sighs> right away. We'll start rigging her tomorrow. Oh, Mama, talk to me, honey. What do <laughs> you want me to say, honey? Well, say something nice, honey, like, like, what do we got to eat, honey? Uh, I forget. You come long way, huh? I, I, I fix something for you. You wait, I fix. Wait till you taste my Mama's cooking. Got no diving suit. Need new diving suit. New diving suit need money. Where are you going to get money? Why you look at Sufotis? He don't let you smoke from his cigarette. You want to make a little bet? Before you pay, you want to borrow a little more, eh? 
You need new deck, new engine, new suit. Forgive me, Tony. I have to say no. Who said anything about money? Oh, please. I'm old Greek. I can smell when someone wants to borrow. Huh? We don't want any money. Then what you want? Hey, don't tell me I don't want to listen. Look, I don't this is going to cost you a nickel. All we want yeah, is... A... See, yeah. All we want is diving suit. You got plenty. Just give us one. They don't want nothing. All they want is little diving suit. That's all they want. Hey, listen to me. How I talk, I must be crazy. They should lock me up. I, I give you diving suit. Nice suit you give to Tony. What do you expect for free? From you, that's what we expect. Thank you for nothing. <laughs> What's so funny? You going deep water? You going dive? You going to work in that boat? Why don't you go count your money? <laughs> Just like his papa, he got answer for everything. Okay, Tony, we're ready. You've been. We're ready to leave. I'm going with you. No, honey. This is going to be a rough trip. Look, you don't know how to handle a hook boat. I do. I can help. You'd be in the way. Tony, take her. She'd be with you when you come up. Please, Tony. Okay, honey. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Penny. Sponges, we call them Big Tony. Give me the slip if I hadn't run low on gas. You stood up for him. You stood up for the Greek. Yeah, you tried to give him our money. Stole your boat, now he's got your daughter in the glade. All right! I was wrong. Wherever they are, we'll find them. And we'll bring Gwyneth back. And we'll give that kid something he'll never forget. Rough. Don't you think you ought to wait till the wind dies down? If folks spot us, we won't get another chance. It's too rough. That's too tall the hole. No good. Maybe no gonna work. I'm going down. I'm the captain. I say no. I'm the diver. I say yes. Come on, finish rigging me. Come on, will ya? So many things I want to tell you. Everything I know, if I can only put in your head. I have to find out for myself.
coming up. He did it. Little Tony did it. You mean Big Tony. He don't come up. All right, get more slack, more slack. Why you not come up when I give the signal, huh? You have trouble? You all right? I got caught in the cave. But I got out. Tony, what's that? It's blood. Well, I... I guess I have to bump my head. Getting out of the cave. Were you scared? Scared? I was petrified. I bet. Tony, what are you doing? 
I'm ready to go down. See how he's to be diver? You take rest. I tell you when it's time. Take rest. Go on. Pop was right. You're scared. I don't know how scared you can be. So, what for cover? There's your daughter. Take a look at her. Working for the creek. She's a good girl. By now he knows how good she is. David, bring her in close. Come alongside, go aboard. Hit the deck. Everybody get down. Get him, Arnold. What that Tony. Tony. I'll help you, Tony. Come on, stay back, Greek. Let him alone. Come along, Gwyneth. Come along. Are you with us or with him? I'm with him. I'm his wife. Dad. Oh, don't be mad, Mr. Reese. You think she's just a kid, that we're both a couple of kids, but we're not kids anymore. It's no good to fight. No good. Maybe she is married to a Greek, but she's still your daughter. You pulled me in. You could have let me drown. Oh, what's the matter with you, Dad? She didn't do so bad. Look who you got for a son-in-law. Me, Adonis the track. I'm a very beautiful young man. <laughs> it is Tony Mama, it is. You should see the sponges, Mama. You should see. Hey, this time I'm going to get paid, eh? Tony, he's all right. <laughs> 